Hey guys, it's Andrew here from MAO Magic with the Elgato Turbo 2.64 video encoder. Essentially, it takes the power off of your processor and allows you to convert videos a lot faster without putting too much of a strain on your computer. So, we're going to go ahead and open it up. And uh, by the way, these do retail for $99, though you can find it cheaper on places like Amazon, though you can get it directly from their Elgato website. There is a software only version of this, like the non hardware helped one. And that is available for fifty dollars from Elgato or from the Turbo, or sorry, from the Mac App Store. You do just get the hardware encoder there, and which is a USB dongle, and then you have an extension cable. Say if you're plugging into a Mac Mini like I am, it's get a little bit tight back there with all the stuff. So it does help to be able to have like a little bit of extra slack, so it's not stuck in there. You can also use a powered USB drive, though I wouldn't recommend using a non-powered one. Just saying. Either way, it's. Pretty sm it's pretty smooth, it's a nicely built adapter. The hardware is not too big. Um, the software does have to be moved from the disk, so if you're using a 2011 MacBook Air or Mac, Mac Mini, you do have to have a disk drive or something like that to install it. You can't get it from their website and then just put in your file or your activation code, at least as far as I could find. So either way, here we are with the software. It does give you a lot of presets. It does not give you a universal one, at least that I've messed with. So I've had to make a custom one for mine. But it does give you presets for stuff like Apple TV, iPhone, uh, just HD, or uh, 720 and 1080, either way. It does give you a FTP upload, too. If so if you want to just automatically upload it to your FTP server for your website, it's also available. And it does give you a lot of advanced options that it runs through in detail in the manual that's included on the CD. So... <clears throat> I put a TV show in here, and we're just going to go ahead and start that. And when I compared a 2.34 gig file, an hour and a half TV show, and high def, converting it to high def, in handbrake it took me an hour and 20 minutes, and it only took me 46 using the Elgato Turbo. So I use this thing all the time. It saves me a lot of time when I'm encoding video, and I always carry it with me. Uh, let me know what you guys think. By the way, for comparison's sake, I used a 2.3 gigahertz Intel i5 Mac Mini 2011 edition, just so you guys know. Um, anyway, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.